The plan for High School South brings forward both renovations as well as additions. Approximately 40,000 square foot of addition in two areas. One, anyone who's been to High School South knows that you enter into Commons One and you enter right into a moving hallway in a cafeteria as well as a study hall. One is a 15,000 square foot addition that brings out the main office to the current entry road. There'll be site renovation with a new entranceway for High School South. There'll be a new main office created um, and off that wing, a new dance studio as well as four growth uh, classroom instructional spaces. You would then walk down a main hallway into Commons One and the current main office will be renovated into a child study team uh, office for special education, child study team staff members, as well as guidance space, nursing space, and assistant principal's office. One of the biggest impacts is really keeping our students safe with everything that's going on in our society, the ability to have much better control of the front entrance um, and making certain that there is a way that everybody signs in the school, that everybody has to report to the main office. Currently our main office is in the center of the building. By making it on the exterior end of the building, making certain that you know there's a double way to get into the building so you have to come in and be buzzed into the next part you know it keeps everybody safe and i think it's a it's an important part to keep people's minds at ease also the current robotics room 800 a and b gets renovated and then a new um, robotics build space will be built on the outside of the building in addition to the 800 a and b classroom space the second area of addition is off of comments too and that is a new science wing, an eight classroom addition, four classrooms, first floor, four classrooms, second floor. Our students have a passion and affinity for science classes and science electives. As such, as we've expanded course offering and students take multiple sciences, especially in the junior and senior year, we have literally run out of classroom space for science electives. As our student population is slated to continue to grow, especially on the high school south uh, feeding paths of all the residential developments across the community, um, we know that we need more facility space. And uh, science classes are one of those um, areas that you just can't put in any classroom. You need to make sure that you have dedicated classrooms that are appropriate to the different disciplines. So we will have, um, we will have two different additions. In addition to that, there's also renovations within the building, renovations to the media center, renovations to the current Playhouse Theater. It will still remain a media center, it will still re remain a Playhouse Theater, but the Playhouse, for instance, gets a sound upgrade, lighting upgrade, carpet replacement, walls painted, and new seating. Uh, the library will have uh, new stacks, um, the line of sight will open up, there'll be more technology breakout spaces. It will become a 21st century uh, library, very similar to many of the collegiate libraries that we might have as a mental model. Another area of renovation is also the both child growth and development room as well as the culinary arts room. Both spaces will see renovations. Both are um, over 35 years old and both, are in, both of those spaces are in need for facility upgrades. In the area of the arts program, under the state of New Jersey, there's four areas for a comprehensive arts program. There's the choir and band orchestra. There's also the the arts and the theater. So there's the instrumental musics and the vocal musics, there's theater, and there is the, the arts programs. Uh, the fourth area is dance. And currently in the district, uh, we do not have an appropriate space to have a dance studio. So as we look at both student interest and as we look at as a comprehensive arts program, um, there is a need to increase a facility at both High School North and High School South. It is a graduation requirement opportunity for some students that may have a passion in that area. And based on student interest, we will uh, uh, run the courses and hire staff appropriately. Student interests always drive the master schedule. And we're very confident that across High School North and High School South, there will be students that are interested in, in pursuing the, the arts through dance. Um, and based on their interest, the instructional program will, will develop uh, greater over time. But what we do know is without the facility, the program will never exist because you need a very specific type of floor and you need a very specific dedicated space for a dance program to occur. Some of our students have expressed an interest. There's many of our students who continue to dance at different programs around town, but to give them the opportunity to fulfill their elective requirement, you know, and building on to our theater and drama class, I think it would be something that would be an added addition. For the continuity of instructional program, 
the dance studios uh, addition is included in both High School North and the High School South within the referendum. The referendum is important to students and parents because it enables the school to actually be able to schedule all students in classes. It also keeps the students safe, which is important in keeping students and parents' minds at ease. Um, it also allows students to pursue their interests, whether it's going to be in the arts, such as dancing, or whether it's in um, the computer sciences or robotics. And also, it allows our kids to continue to take the advanced level science courses that they enjoy taking right now without us having to live at them because we don't have the lab space for them to do it. But most importantly, it really comes back to if the you know, neighborhood projections are correct and the student population is going to increase, we're not going to be able to fulfill student schedules because we won't have classes for in which teachers to teach. So it's very important that we support the referendum and again to do it in front of this time frame as opposed to all of a sudden waiting to see what happens and then try to build after the kids are here.